Are you really a fly fisherman if you aren't sitting at Chick-fil-A waiting for your food, literally planning out where you're gonna fish? Boom. This is probably the most unprepared I have ever been for a fishing trip, but you know what? Sometimes those are the best ones. So we're just gonna drive and find some water and we'll see what happens. I like rain, but not when I'm trying to go fishing. We are going to pray that it is clear at the river. Oh, I love the smell of rain. Oh yeah, that's, that's gonna be a good day. Time to set up the rods, got all my waders on. Oh, actually, you know what? I should probably tie my boots. That would make those a little easier to use. Okay, time for the rods. And yes, that is rods multiple because I have two. So we're going to try nymphing with an indicator and nymphing with, um, with the Euro rig, which is brand new. And maybe we'll have to do a little comparison, see which one is more successful. Um, yeah, let's do that now. We're going to go ahead and tie some tippet on here. We're going to use 5X because these fish are, uh, well, they're not giants to say the least. This Euro nymph rig came with a preloaded. Hold on, I know the name of that. Tippet ring. There we go. Preloaded tippet ring, which is excellent. That's going to make our job about three and a half times easier. All right, let's get some tippet on here. I'm going to give this thing a ton of wraps because I want to take no chances today. Nice and tight. Excellent. And then we're going to use our handy dandy little line clippers here. Gosh, I don't know why I said it like that. Clippers, line clippers. Okay, awesome. Now let's pick a couple nymphs here. Um, I do not need a ton of tippet on this, so I'm just gonna go with, what am I doing? I have clippers. I need to stop using my teeth. Clip that thing. No, I'm like a fish. Let's pick some flies. Oh man, so much to choose from. Let's go for this guy. Of course, I can't get the camera to focus. I'd feel a lot better if I could focus the camera. And what are we gonna do for the bottom one? We want a small-ish size for the other nymph. We're gonna go with this red copper john. All right, so that's today's plan. One red copper john and one tungsten blue nymph of some kind. I don't actually know the name, but that's what we're gonna go for on the Euro nymph. Let me rig that up real quick. All right, Euronymph is set up. Up here, of course, is our Copper John. Say hello, there we go. Below him is our blue, that thing. <laughs> I don't actually know what that's called, so that's just gonna be the blue fly for today. Okay, one more to go. And this guy, of course, needs a tippet ring, so we're gonna pick up one of those four little dudes right there and apply. 
She, those things are never fun to put on. Okay, sweet, almost ready. All right, we are finally all set up. Two rigs ready to go. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. I'm stoked. Let's hit the water. Dun, 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 oh yeah, I'm stoked. All right, we are getting our first look at the river. Wow, that is swollen. Oh boy. Okay, Let's see if I can do this without falling. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. All right, we're gonna try the indicator rig first. I don't need my sunglasses. All right, indicator rig first, here we go. Part of me that wants to try to use the Euro nymphing rod now. I feel like it's only fair because if, if I have to, I can revert to the one with the indicator. So I'm gonna try and put in with the Euro rod and uh, see if I can figure out how to use that. All right, yeah, we'll see. All right, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna try the Euro nymph for a minute. See how this does. That's a good one. All right, come on in, baby. Woo. Come on. Come on now. Oh, that was my worst net job ever. Yeah, look at that. Woo -wee. Gotta love it, man. So we just had to go a little bit deeper. We were not quite deep enough initially. Well, that does not suck at all. Woohoo! All right, guys, let's get a look at our new friend here. Oh, that water is so cold. All right, all right, all right, come on. Jeez. What do we think, folks? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh, that water is so freaking cold. It was literally just straight snow melt runoff. Oh, okay. Let's get back in. Now that and that look freaking awesome. See what we can do. Anybody want to guess how many times I have broken my rig off so far? It's not one, it's not two, it's three. I am fixing my rig for the third time today, so I think I might be fishing a little bit too deep. Um, 
So we're gonna adjust a little bit and get back into it. We're getting really tired of tying on this rig. Easy. We are moving spots, which is good because that spot was really taking my rigs left and right. Man, that was very frustrating. Okay. Ow. 